Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Afil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is the Lord's favor cloud has come upon your head. The Lord's favor cloud has come upon your head. Let me jump off into this word, you guys. So, you guys, a little bit earlier on today, I'm actually in intercessory prayer. And during the time of that prayer, the Lord had me speak in favor cloud into the atmosphere on several occasions. Confirming my bringing this word forth and the Lord. It said his favor cloud has come upon your head that you can take the war clothes off because you have entered your new position of favor and you have entered your new wardrobe of favor. That his progression, prosperity, and his direction cloud is upon your head and that he is the lifter of your head. Holy Spirit has gone before you and granted you favor and made all of your crooked paths straight and you are walking in alignment decent and in order with the assignment according to his word according to his will and according to his way first timothy 1 and 14 the grace of our lord his amazing unmerited favor and blessing flowed out in super abundance for me together with the faith and love, which is realized in Christ Jesus. The Lord is saying favor that is overflowing, a set time of favor and a found favor. That you have remained faithful over a few things that he's making you ruler over many and that he has granted access he has granted you access to his grace and unmerited favor, even favor just like Esther. You have gained in the sight of men. You have even found favor with your king for the ladies. And for the men, you have found favor with your queen. This word can be in two parts pertaining to kingdom marriage as well. Ephesians 2 and 8, for it is by God's grace, remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ that you have been saved actually delivered from judgment and given eternal life through faith in this salvation is not of yourselves, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved gracious gift of God. Wherever you go, others are going to be able to identify and even be doing things for you and don't even know why they are doing it. But the Lord is saying it's because you are not who you used to be, that your fragrance has changed, your status has changed, and your name has changed, and you have entered into your unique and distinctive position of favor. Holy Spirit is giving you that same favor that he gave to Joseph. Joseph no matter what was going on, because of the favor of God that was upon his life, he still had accessibility as a result. Genesis 39 and 4, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. The Holy Spirit is saying you have entered a new year in a newfound favor that this is your set time where that divine favor is about to show up in your life and your favor doors have been opened. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord's favor cloud has come upon 
your head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that note bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word really edified, exhortated, and exalted your life in such a phenomenal way by the special grace and mercy of God because the Lord is wanting you to know that people are going to be able to see that favor crown upon your head. They're going to be able to identify with you, your fragrance, everything that has to do with your status, your name change, everything is changing about you and that is God that has placed his favor on your life. You have that favor just like Joseph had. You have that favor just like Esther had. He even did it for Noah with building the ark to save him and his family. He did it with Abraham. You have found that favor. He has no respect to persons. He has done the same for you. You have found favor. And as I stated earlier in a two-part message with the sight of kings just like Esther did, and you have also found favor just like Joseph did. They seen it upon his head. They seen that light of that favor upon his statue. God reflected and represented that favor the same way he did in Joseph's life. He is doing the same thing for you. You are about to enter the Lord's, the Lord's favor cloud has entered upon your head. Head. The Lord's favor cloud has come upon your head. You have walked into it. His grace and his unmerited favor. Not that you deserve it, but the Lord has said because you have remained faithful, he has gave you accessibility to that favor. He wants you to have it. He rewards those who diligently seek after him because you have been remaining faithful, because you have been diligently seeking after him. The Lord is wanting to grant you his grace and unmerited faith. The Lord is wanting to reward you. And this is why he has placed you in a position of accessibility. He has placed you in that position of access to receive his grace and unmerited favor. The Lord has said nothing less, but so much more than divine favor along with that unique favor. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I am telling you, they keep me afloat. Just like Noah, when he built that boat, I'm aboard the ship. I'm aboard the ship because the Lord granted Noah favor. And that's the ship I want to be on, the ship that's going to grant favor in every aspect and area of our lives. Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks, you guys. The Lord's favor cloud has come upon our head and we are being led through his favor, he is making all of our cricket pathways straight that we're walking in alignment, decent, and in order with the assignment according to his word, his will, his way, his laws, his commandment, his statutes, and his precepts. Line upon line, a precept upon precept, in season and out of season, we have entered into the accessibility and that grace and unmerited favor, along with those rewards, the divine favor, those rewards, the, that uniqueness, that fragrance that status that name change has come upon us and it has added additions to our life additional favor that's double favor that said the spirit of the living god in the mighty name of jesus christ take care and we will most certainly talk on the next god richly bless each and every one of you guys take care we will talk on the next bye-bye